Hello everyone, welcome back to the trials and tribulation of this one Simon Thorosden Holt who is trying to survive in the cataclysm when everything has gone completely to pot. We have survived until day 10 of spring somehow, despite the fact we keep running out of food and water. Uh, let me show you a little bit of what I've done. I, I apologise for the infrequency of these episodes. Um, it's mostly, I'm going to make an excuse now, this is because I'm scared of losing. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I, I'm reluctant to play the game because I know that I'm bad at it and I know that people are going to get just on the edge of invested and then all of a sudden uh, I'm going to walk into a brute like I did before or a, a Mego or something like that and then we're just going to be deaded. So that's no fun. Um, what I've done is i put down here this makeshift funnel which I think I've shown you. There's now a steel jerry can underneath it and I have filled my gallon jug wherever it is um, with uh, so if we, I'll show you how I have Gallon. There should be a gallon jug somewhere. <laughs> Where are you? Is it my inventory still? Yes, there's a gallon jug of clean water, hot, still in my inventory. So I'm going to put that down there. So we're eventually going to have a steel jerry can, I hope, um, full of water. I don't know if this funnel is going to fill up the jerry can, but I assume that it is. If it isn't, we'll find out when we come back after a while because we'll eat some food. Um, spend some time doing some stuff uh, and then come back and then if there's no water in it that didn't work and that's the way that's going to go now we have done a fair few things beneath me there is a sm small game arrow and a short bow uh with this we have the opportunity if we have a look at the map we can wander off probably down here into the forest where we have been before although we should maybe avoid this oh no that's a desolate barn i remember this place now um we can wander around here and see if we can shoot some small game with our small game arrow if nothing else we will gain some uh, experience in shooting things with small game arrows, but eventually we're going to want to do that to to win rabbits and, and uh, other such small creatures that will help us with our hunger. In real life, if you try and eat nothing but rabbit, you're going to have a bad time because the the a rabbit is negative calories. It actually takes more nutrients and other such um, and other such body necessities, and other such necessities of life, it takes more nutrients and more calories to digest um, your rabbit than it does to than, than it gives you. In fact, I believe it doesn't have any anything but protein. Why am I cold? Oh, the window's open. I opened the window because I was getting warm, and now I've got a breeze. <laughs> So, now, why am I cold? Um, it's because of the window that I've opened. It's a little bit disconcerting when you've got your headphones on and you're starting to get immersed into a game where things surprise you and scare you and kill you. So, uh, we're going to try and avoid that. We've got a few places we can visit, but remember we smashed up a car a little bit uh, in the last episode because I'm a terrible, terrible driver. And this was, in fact, not because my character is a terrible driver. It's because I'm a terrible driver. So, we are going to want to repair... These headlights. We, we drove off anyway without any headlights and I didn't realise. Not a good idea. Don't recommend that because we wanted to go out in the middle of the night in order to avoid being seen too much because, if I mean, if you've got headlights on in the middle of the night, you can imagine it's going to be bad for you. What's that noise? Probably next door. Don't worry about it. Um, by the way, if you can hear music, I hope I don't get content matched for it. It's because next door are making noise. So, I'm they're playing music and I can hear it when I take my headphones off. Hoping it's not so loud that the mic's picking up. It doesn't seem to be. But uh, they're making a whole bunch of noise next door. Restart to install Windows 10 update. Uh, no. News. Easy. Uh, okay, that was a bit of a distraction, and now I'm confused. What are we doing? Let's have a look back at here. Okay, so we're talking about this headlight. If we drive around with headlights on, we will be seen by things. But um, the benefit, really, to me, in my opinion, at least, is that when you end up in the place, you can sneak around in the dark. So it's not being not seen during the day driving. It's being not seen... Well, it's, it's not being not seen when driving. It's not being seen... Not It's being not seen when looting. This is a very hard sentence to say. Okay, there's negatives involved here that people were just not meant to deal with. This is sentences that man was not meant to what off. Um, so I want to put my headlights back on. I want to make them work. One thing we're going to be able to do 
is uh, this lorry here certainly seems to have some okay headlights. So let's, let's go and have a wander up there. We focus. There's some very banging noises going on. Uh, examine vehicle. Do you have working headlights? One there. They kind of work. Um, if I press I, inspect. No, let's install. Uh, if I press repair, we can have a look at the list of things that are... So this is how vehicles work. They always have a direction, which is usually the the, the engine is at the front, at the top of the diagram in, in this situation. So th this entire thing will rotate as you play with the car in the world, but it will always be reoriented like this when you come to have a look at the vehicle editor screen, which is honestly, there's a huge amount involved here. We're going to be using it soon as well to make um, more intricate things, not just vehicles. Um, so we'll have a look at that soon. But if you have a look at this, I press R here having examined the vehicle and I can move up and down the things that are installed in this particular tile which is the front right hand side which will be the passenger side for an American vehicle because we will have a look here oh, okay, let's go back out of this over here somewhere there will be there's the controls and then there's just a seat right um, the this color is very good repair so if we have a look at this corner we can see that the headlight is probably not necessarily repairable but it probably works um i was hoping to see you know uh, uh about one minute but we can fix it with super glue basically or, or duct tape whereas the frame here it's going to say nine minutes we're going to need a torch some things are so broken that you basically can't repair them without replacing them this is one good example. To replace, to fix this wheel, we have to have a wheel. There's no way we can fix this wheel just with heat or anything like that. Meanwhile, we've got another headlight here. The frames themselves uh, are going to be pretty useful as well because it means we can extend our own vehicle with, with new stuff. But for now, I think we're going to have a look. Somewhere I have a wrench. So I'm going to press this button here. I'm going to press this button here. I'm going to type wrench. I don't know where it is. So um, if we go in here, what we can do, if you use capital V, I, I've already got a filter on there. So I'm, I'm doing a look around for items. If I press tab, looking around for monsters. We're going to keep it on items. We're going to press the slash key, which is the search key in basically every single UI that there is, and then type wrench. There's one. It's over there. Okay, cool. So if you've lost anything, just do that. Uh, wrench. Here it is. I. So... Um, before I do that, let's go back outside and have a look and see what's necessary, because we want to examine this vehicle. There's another vehicle over there in the top left, by the way, so we can see we want to maybe get a better headlight. That's an option. Press O to remove, and here's the headlight. So I can remove the headlight with one tool with screwdriver one or more and strength one. So we don't really need any strength to remove that headlight. We don't even need the wrench, but I'm going to keep it with me, plus a couple of other things. I'm going to grab my um, trolley here. I'm going to drop my wrench into it. What else is in here? a bit of food which we might want to eat <clears throat> but we can we can probably do something about that sooner or later i'm gonna have a, a drink of water because thirst is usually worse than uh hunger in many cases so let's uh i'm the reason i'm taking things out of this vehicle even though it's quite battered is that it's nearby <laughs> that's literally the only reason uh so we now have two headlights where's that zombie gone It's gone. It's gone somewhere. Uh, we will put the headlights into the shopping cart, move back down here, and then we can examine. And here, we can now uh, remove this headlight and install, hopefully, a headlight. Required mechanics one, one headlight, one screw driving, bright light. Right, so we only need a screwdriver to put a headlight into a vehicle, which makes sense. Vehicles are designed that way. At least they used to be these days. Um... Fair enough. Uh, these days, I mean, I've heard horror stories of headlights that the mechanics will refuse to replace them, or it's been a weak estimate because the mechanics just don't have time because you have to take the blinking car apart to get the headlights in, which is preposterous. That was just to replace a bulb as well, not to replace the headlight piece, to replace the bulb. Uh, so let's not go down that road. So I'll show you what I did. I, I pressed I to install. I picked the headlight. I've already got one. And it says this, choose the facing direction for the new headlight, press space to continue. This is a confusing message. You have to press space, then you're choosing the direction, which is, it doesn't matter which uh, 
tile here you choose basically i'm just choosing forwards and then pressing space again and that appears to be installed so when it gets dark <laughs> we can probably test this but um we should be able to turn on headlights times two nice turn off headlights so we can do that uh stop driving so the headlights is now an option in that menu where previously it wasn't when it gets dark we'll see if that's any good um can we break this apart no it's already broken apart i see um so let's grab this vehicle again just because it's convenient for this thing and then we'll put those in there now we've got a bit of copper and, and metal and that's really cool as well so our car has been repaired with headlights but the other thing we're going to want to do is probably reduce a lot of the stuff why is caps lock on no one wants that um I'm going to take most of the stuff out, basically, because another good thing about a car is it has a lot of space in it. I don't have any friends in this apocalypse. <laughs> Who needs friends when you've got uh, wrenches? So I'm going to tr see what it takes to remove a seatbelt. Screwdriving. Done. And see what it takes to remove a seat. Bolt turning. I've got my wrench. Remove the seat. Uh, let's do that here as well. Remove seatbelt. Remove seat. Uh, remove seatbelt, remove seat. So you can see these X's here that are showing up in the um, in the actual uh, world. We should probably repair some of this as well, but it's not a big deal at the moment. The windshield is fine, so we're not going to get cold when we're driving around. That's good. Uh, we've got two steerable wheels, so I didn't ruin that, which is good when I crashed into the car. I ruined my car, uh, my house, but not the car, which is great. So we can kind of see through the car now, right? It's is that good? I don't know. Um, we can probably install a floor at some point. But I don't think we need to now. We might make it cold in there, come to think of it. Can we put these seats in here? Yes. We get some short ropes. Short ropes are the seat belts. The seat belts are not um, modelled using the normal seat belt material, which is kind of pesky, um, if you ask me, because that's a usually a really good material. Seat belt material is really good for just keeping things in right so that'd be a great thing to have if you wanted to like strap things down uh, keep things secure that sort of thing but uh, it's not an option uh, i'm looking for floor can i search yes floor mm. there's a lot of things that we could in theory install uh, a board i think we want to install a board that will give us a flat uh thing to stand on there board what else can we use? cloth board cloth wall keep zombies outside the vehicle pretends people have seen through it the heavy duty board which is a snowboard stow board and a wooden board so we could in theory put uh, what's a wooden armor kit you sure a board it's a metal wall but it's the floor <laughs> right um i mean I'm confused. Let's have a look at this vehicle here. Because this vehicle is made of cargo space, cargo space. We could just install boxes and stuff, right? Look at all this cargo space. Can we remove this? This one's good. Oh, we need metal sawing. Maybe we have a metal saw. I'm pretty sure we have a metal saw. Let's go and have a look. I'm going to close this door just in case. Um, a fire is still going. Uh, saw. So. There's a wood saw. I'm being talked to. It's difficult to record and be talked to. It took two hours for waffles to arrive. And anyone keeping up? Um, that was the waffles I was talking about in the Dead Cells episode. So if you're enjoying a bit of roguelites, do go and check that out as well. So a wood saw has level one, level two wood sawing quality, but no metal sawing quality. So we're going to need... I, I was sure we had a, a different type of saw. Let's see if there's anything in here. Uh, reset. No, there isn't. Unless, maybe we can't see it. Surrounding area. Saw. Hacksaw. Uh, no, I wanted... Mm, ah, mm. There we go. And then examine. There we go. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's put that in our vehicle. And then we can come back over here and remove. Because even if we remove... Uh, sorry. Examine that. Remove. So even if we can't install these again oh it's dark now didn't expect that um we could at the very least you know have things there's a bottle jack where did that come from okay i'm okay with this 
Let's put some things away inside. We can also test our headlights now that it's dark. It's 21 o'clock. Do we have a towel? Because we're probably not very happy about being wet. Um, I mean, we do have a basement we can chuck all... Should we just chuck all our uh, seats in the basement? No, let's, let's put them here below us. Uh, grab the vehicle. Directly below you. There we go. Uh, these can stay. This can stay. We move the seats. We'll move... The other stuff can stay in. It's also full of 2x4s, I don't know if you've noticed. It's because I seem to have found a lot of them. It's really good. I like having a lot of 2x4s. And I've been carrying them around using them to reinforce and build stuff. But I think we can probably afford to pull them out. Put them to the... Northwest there. So I've got this little bit of a problem. Whereby I don't really know where I'm putting things. <laughs> so I'm just sort of shoving things wherever I happen to be. Which is not very good. Because I'd like to have an organization system, but I don't. Um, obviously, books go on the bookshelf. But I'm sort of leaving things in range of crafting. And then as a result, I can make things without... I thought I'd close that door. I can make things without really worrying too much about... Whether they fit. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? Confused myself. Uh, all... There we go. Cargo carrier. Um... Whether I whether, whether they're in the right place, basically. We should be able to install. We can't install that because we probably need to weld it in, right? Correct. Uh, the reason here is, obviously, it was welded into the, to the other vehicle. We can't remove it with a welder. We, if something's welded, you remove it with a saw. And the reason we needed a saw was to, because it was welded in, right? But we can find a few of these that are, you know, of a decent quality. We should probably eat something as well. We only need three. Uh, and we can do this and just pull them inside. And we should maybe cook and eat this offal, but it's not the best thing in the world. So, before too long, we're going to be very pleased to have a go at hunting. Let's stop grabbing that. Uh, move some wood from where did I put it? Is it here, isn't it? From the northwest to the brazier below us. A couple of two by fours will be fine. Let's activate our campfire drill. Never press the wrong direction when activating the campfire drill. Things will go wrong. You should probably have a fire extinguisher nearby in case you do. But um, make cooked offal, but we need raw offal. Uh, we can probably activate our frying pan to heat up this and then we can eat not where eat where's my awful there it is Hot. joy minus two so we're gonna be uh eating this awful <laughs> it's very good for you but it's horrible and uh, we should drink this water there we go we are tired which is kind of good in my opinion because it means that we can sleep um without worrying about it but we should let's see if we can read a book um Possibly we should read a, a morale book. This is uncommon that I will read this sort of book because if we're going to spend time reading... Um, oops. Red Dragon was plus 20. And the offal was minus 8. We're hot, which is minus 1, but that's okay because we're also damp, which is even is considerably worse. So we'll eat this offal again. We'll drop this. Uh, should we drop this back in here? That drama novel was actually a lot more effective than I expected it to be, so that's good. Um, we can keep reading as well, which is nice, because we could probably read one under the hood, for example. Try and get our mechanics a little bit better, because we're currently at two. We can get it to three, and then we'll end up being very tired. It's too dark to read. Or too dark to read, which is also fine. Um, didn't really feel like wasting the wood, basically. So that's why I did that. We don't want to waste the wood for the... I mean, I've got plenty of 2 by 4s but if you can manage it, you should probably make the best of everything that you've got because waste not, want not, and it's a survival situation. So, yes, we will sleep. The alarm will wake us in... Six, let's wake up in six hours. It'll be about eight o'clock in the morning. If we're still tired, I'll be surprised. Obviously, we get hungry overnight. 
Our offer will get cold. Probably something is making noise, no doubt. Uh, so I'm presuming it's light again. Yes. So now is a good opportunity to go and try and get some food. Um, we do want to take this short bow. So what we should do is drop here our worn M4A1. And then wear short bow and pick up the arrows. Notice how the arrows go green now that we have a weapon that can use them. Now that we're carrying a weapon that can use them more specifically. Uh, we're hungry. The only thing we have to eat is in the, <laughs> in the trolley. Um, yeah, we should probably bring this offal. I don't like the idea because we're going to be demoralizing ourselves while learning to hunt, which seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> we've got this video. Um, but as long as nothing really gets in our way. Spotted zombie child. Oh no, where's this chipmunk? So, uh, that's a problem. Because what occurs to me, of course, is that um, we need to get close enough to the chipmunk to shoot it. But it's running away. In that direction. Where's this zombie child? Over there. Where's the groundhog? I'm wondering how exactly we aim at uh, creatures. Because if they have to be... Stop helping. Stop helping. If they have to be this close to us to you know, manage... Swing wildly and miss. This is no good. Nice. There we go. Hit the child. Okay, good. Uh, smash. Nope, smash. Pulp novel. I haven't got any carrying capacity. Uh, uh, I don't know how easy it's going to be to get close enough to the small game that we want to fire at. Right? Chipmunk up north. Generally, I think we're going to be in here looking for creatures. We're hoping that they're not zombies, <laughs> basically. Mugwort. What? What have you got? Is it this entire... I hate the inventory management in this game sometimes. Especially the way it keeps picking stuff up. Um, I, I don't want you to pick stuff up. When you're using them, I want you to leave them alone. <laughs> I want you to leave them where they are, because like, you should be able to use something without putting it into your inventory. Like, we've got the campfire drill. I don't want the campfire drill. Look. I heard a thump. Is that Jen? No. Can't be. This zombie is much easier to hit than that child zombie. What have you got? Nothing good. Um, this is bad news bears. Okay. Close this. Drop the things that you don't need. For example, everything. Put the, oh, no. Put the campfire drill on the chair where it belongs. Put the screwdriver and the hammer in there. We'll also put... No, but we can activate the um, combat knife and sheath it. Activate the... Was it the belt we were keeping it in? Oh, we've got a sheath with them. Makeshift knife. Remove this. Drop this. Activate the... Excuse me? That's not what I meant to do. Uh, activate the sheath. Put the combat knife in the sheath. Wield the nod. Drop. There we go. Right. I think we're better. Maybe we should wield the combat knife and drop the nord. Sure. Okay. Why not? That means drop this. There we go. Uh... Eat more offal, I guess. Get full. There we go. Drink water, slate. Now we don't need this. Okay, we're just trying to fight something. I'm happy. I'm thinking maybe this is an off camera job. That's fine. Um, <coughs> we should wield the small boat, short boat. Uh, maybe not. The short bow, by the way, was causing us trouble fighting, but it wasn't causing us so much trouble fighting that I was worried about it. Uh, so I didn't do anything about it, basically. But... We'll, we'll go and see if we can get something done, and if not, I will go off camera. In that case, there's a couple of things I would like to do off camera. So the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what else I would like to do. Um, if we have a look up here, we've got ludicrous amount of clothing. 
So I'll move on to this, and then we'll go fighting, and then we'll uh, probably leave the episode there, to be honest. And then, how much time have we got? I've hidden my OBS window. It's 25 minutes anyway. What? 25 minutes of faffing around. Good job. <laughs> made anything good happen. Uh, if we basically move... Let's try moving things from the northeast to the southwest. Putting them on the floor. We'll move things that are broken and that might be made of cotton or something like that. So... Uh, and then a couple of sheets. We've got 24 sheets, right? So if we break these... I should close this door. If we butcher these. We have a knife with which to do it. We can cut up everything. We've got 20 rags and some more. We've got 85 rags, 85 rags, which is grand. Um, also, I'm going to grab this chair. I'm going to bring it over here. reason for this will become apparent when I move everything again like this. Um, and then I'm going to grab something else that is reasonably in good nick. For example, probably the cargo pants seems like a good one. Uh, a sweater. These are the sorts of items that are big uh, and easy. So what we're going to do is practice repairing these things. Uh, I'm going to search for kit because we might have a tailor's kit. We've got a sewing kit. That's okay. Uh, sewing kit. More rags. I'll pick up the small strings. We can turn the small strings into thread eventually if we need to. Uh, can we reload the sewing kit? We don't have any thread. No. Do we have any thread? Thread. Nothing that I can see from this position. So if we sit here, where the rain is falling down, this, in my opinion, should give us morale, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, but Because uh, if you were sitting in the doorway of a rainy day and just sewing, you know, learning a new craft, practicing something that is vital to your survival, essentially, um, whilst the, just watching the world go by, you know, it's 10 in the morning, it's raining. It's, it's a nice day otherwise. Uh, there's a, a nice breeze coming in through the doorway. You've got your car that you've repaired yourself just sitting there outside. There's corpses of zombies lying around hither and thither, which are the the the, the testament to your exploits having uh, woken up in this rather unsavory position. But you've, you've, you've made the best of it. You've got your chin up. It's a proper stiff upper lip British attitude, even though you're in, I think you're in New England, actually. Something like that. Uh, and then here we are, we're just sitting down, we've got cargo pants that fit, we've got a sweater, we've got rags and strings, and we are going to start repairing our clothing. So have a look at this. I have, let's start this again, I'll show you what we do. We press A to activate, and then we use the sewing kit. Sewing kit says repair what? You can pick to hit your microphone or to choose the cargo pants or the sweater that we picked up. These are supposed to be, these are reasonably large things, so they should be fairly easy for a, a person to tailor, but we have terrible tailoring. Let's have a look. Our tailoring is zero at 27%, so we have learned a little bit. Uh, so if we activate our sewing kit and we apply it to our cargo pants, we have a zero success chance of repairing these already perfectly good cargo pants. We have a 7% chance of damaging it. What does that mean? You can uh, do one sew, essentially. You can use one charge of your sewing kit and you have a 0% chance of doing anything good to your cargo pants and you have a 7.6% chance of damaging them. So if we just repeat until success failure level up, then we will keep using charges of our sewing kit until we damage the thing because we, we cannot fail. Now we have the opportunity to practice longer so basically what happened there is we, we used some uh, some of our thread and we damaged our cargo pants. These bars, of course, refer to the, <laughs> the the quality of the cargo pants at the time we damaged them. So now they're going to be pipe and a slash. We only have a 3.6% chance of damaging it now, which means we get to use the tailoring kit more often before we hit the, the actual damage, which we're guaranteed to do eventually. But we get to... There you go, you see? So we've damaged our already damaged cargo pants. So now we're going to damage our even worsely damaged cargo pants. I'm going to keep doing this until we run out of thread, which we just did. Now let's have a look. Our tailoring is 87%. So we've used all the charges of our kit, um, but wait, you, you can't make string? String? Uh, thread? And disassemble this. Yes. So it takes a while to disassemble string. Let's do it again. Uh, inventory. 
uh, shift D, no, that's drop. Inventory for small strings. This assembly might, takes about five minutes and might yield 50 thread. So we'll do that. Yes. So now we can reload our sewing kit with R and it will just use the thread that's nearby. All of it, in fact. Uh, and then we can start applying it again. Thread, sewing kit. See how badly our damaged our cargo pants are? How likely are we to repair them? Zero. This is why we have so much clothing. Because the more we do this, the more we get better at it. And then we can start applying it to our actual <laughs> uh, 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 clothing. Again, we've, we've increased our tailoring to level one. But we still can't do any good on these cargo pants. And we're going to destroy them. This is fine. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to activate our sewing kit and apply it to the sweater. Same deal. We're going to keep doing this. Don't have enough felt patches. Okay, let's not use the sweater then. Uh, what else can we use? So the other thing is that, of course, we've been leaving behind dirty clothing. If you wear dirty clothing, uh, it has a couple of problems. Honestly, we could be practicing on the dirty clothing and making more dirty clothing, but uh, it doesn't really matter at this point because we've, we've got plenty. Um, if you wear dirty clothing, you suffer a morale penalty because it's dirty, it's dead man's clothing, it's come off of a zombie. So the morale penalty is that it, it's gross and feels slimy and it's come off of a zombie and it's all... Like most of the things that you saw were broken to some degree. Um, while fresh clothing doesn't doesn't have that debuff, right? I'm, I'm going to take off some clothes, by the way, if, if you'll forgive me. Don't look. If you would care to look away whilst I just drop uh, hot things... Warm falling, that's better. Uh, we, we're suffering a morale penalty because we're, we're hot. It's actually quite a big one. Um, also, I'm going to quickly read... What am I carrying? Is that a sewing kit? <laughs> quickly read uh, this drama novel. Oh, thought the game had lagged, but I was stuck on a wall. Uh, read this. We'll read one chapter. That'll do. Uh, we might as well put it here. Where is our sewing kit? Inventory. Where's my sewing kit? Is it here? No. Is it here? Probably. We had to drop a few things because we didn't have the space to, to put a sewing kit in our pocket because I actually took my trousers off. So um, we're, we're pretty pretty bare from the from the waist down, I think. But that's okay. We're in our own home and there's literally nobody else here. What's the worst that's going to happen? A zombie could attack us, but we shut the door, put our trousers back on and stab him in the face. Um, I think we'll be all right if you, if you don't mind me saying so. So I'm going to put sewing kit to use to repair I can only repair things I'm wearing which seems a bit strange so I can't pick up <laughs> what's happening give me this t-shirt back I can't pick up the t-shirt I can literally carry nothing that's interesting so we'll have to wear let's wear something else how about just some slightly less hot trousers uh Jeans. Let's wear some jeans. There we go. They don't fit, which is a bit of a problem because it increases the encumbrance. Let's have a look. Jeans here. Uh, encumbrance is... Hello? 16. When things say they fit, this reduces the encumbrance. Now, these boxer shorts don't fit. Tank top doesn't fit. Why? These should all fit me because they're all issued for me. I guess it's military issue. It's just closest, right? Uh, jeans... They have pockets, so we can now pick up a t-shirt. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. If we can pick up a t-shirt, we can activate the sewing kit to repair it. Again, this is going to keep going for a while, but we'll eventually have a look. Oh, do you see that? The opportunity to uh, succeed has shown up. So the opportunity to succeed... <laughs> Just pick the one, I don't care. Uh, is based on the state of the item as it is, your skill, I believe the tool that you're using, I think that's it, basically. So this, your skill is the big deal there. Excuse me? Disassemble. Why can't I disassemble? Because I can't see. <laughs> okay. Um, while, obviously, there's going to be other considerations, like... Uh, if, if something is already in perfectly good nick, it's going to require more skill to improve it. 
to change the fit of it, for example, that's going to be a, one of the things you can do with your tailoring kit or your sewing kit. But uh, it's harder because you're not a tailor. You, you didn't grow up like that. So we don't have a skill in tailoring, even though we are uh, a military type person. So let's pick up the sewing kit, reload the sewing kit. You can use plant fiber as well, actually. So you have to reload it with what's already in it. So the, the plant fiber would have worked if we didn't have any thread already. So we'll keep going. And I'm going to keep doing this until um, we are better. So look, we've got a 2% chance of success. That's because it's damaged enough that we can probably just patch it up with our poor skill. Um, uh, uh, and it'll be fine. But it's nearly the same chance of damaging it. So we could suck that badly. We repaired it, but then we're going to damage it again. Then we could repair it again. Add infinitum. You repair your t-shirt completely. And then eventually we will get to the level of tailoring where we're actually good at it. The better way of getting tailoring levels, of course, is to read the right books. We don't seem to have them, which is a problem. Also, have you seen this tailoring kit that we're carrying? What the heck? I'm pretty sure none of these teach us how to sew. Well, that's a reasonably long episode where I've just waffled on talking about stuff. We did repair our headlights and we took some holes in our car, but that's okay. These holes don't need to not exist. This is fine. Eventually, we can put some cargo space in here and we'll have a, other things. We can install electronics in our car and it will sort of automatically wire them up because it sort of hand waves the electronics part of, of everything because that's difficult. So um, eventually, we can start putting all sorts of things in our car. And it's an electric car, so it's got solar panels. So it will always work, which is grand, until we crash it and ruin it, of course. <laughs> that's, that's just me. That's not part of the car so thank you for watching hope you're enjoying these i know i tend to waffle on a bit so i apologize for that but uh, i'm trying i'm getting better please uh, leave me some feedback leave me some comments some ideas about how to improve i'm happy to learn how to improve um but i'm hoping that content is not part of it i was going to do a lot of this off camera and i'm still going to do a bit off camera and um i'm going to try not to die the reason i don't do a lot of this game off camera is the chances of dying are so much worse i can do minecraft off camera because if i die in minecraft i just respawn in this you you miss the end of the thing and i just have to come back and say sorry everyone the character died off camera that's horrible i don't want to do that so i'm trying to do as much on camera but if it's boring tell me and i'll try and cut down and just say hey i did this and now let's do something interesting but until then thank you for watching i just waffled on for another minute and until next time i'll see you